What is going on everybody? I got this idea to tie a fly for y'all just using basic things that I pick up at like Walmart. Uh, just to kind of show you, you can make some flies without having a lot of gear. Now there are a few things you're gonna have to have that you can't pick up at Walmart, like a vise. This is a very inexpensive, I think it's a crown. I bought it 18 years ago and I'm still using it. Uh, it was probably around the $40 mark, but they do have vices for $10. They just don't spin like this. To get started, you don't have to have a vice that spins. Just having one that'll hold the hook is fine. You will need two things that you can't get at Walmart. Number one, a vise. And you will need a bobbin. This is a bobbin. This holds your thread and allows you to apply it to the hook. You can go on Amazon and get these. They can be 10 bucks, man. They, they can be really seven, eight, nine, ten dollars They're very inexpensive. So the three things you're gonna need that you can't get at Walmart are vice, a bobbin, and some fly tying thread. You can get this on Amazon or any fly shop. It's a waxed thread, but everything else, we can get at Walmart. You've already got these, right? I'm gonna be using some needle nose today. These, you're gonna need a good pair of very delicate, sharp scissors. These came from Walmart. They were seven, $8 in the sewing section. This is also from Walmart. This is super critical. I used it for years before I went to this UV resin high dollar stuff. This is Sally Hansen hard as nails. It's old fly tying trick. Still use it a lot. It's about 250 a bottle. It's in the nail section from Walmart. And then these guys you can find in the jewelry section from Walmart too. Super critical for creating sinking flies. All right, hook, budget hooks, man. H2O Express. Now these did not come from Walmart. They came from Academy. You get 15 of them for a dollar 50. They're not perfect, but we're gonna make them perfect. But when you're tying the fly, you want a straight hook. This bait hook is not straight. It's got a little bit of an angle to it and it's got some worm barbs on it, but we can get around that. That's what these guys are for. Let's just squish down those worm grabber barbs on the shank. We're gonna take the bend out. I'm just gonna grab with the needle nose and bend it the other way. I'm just trying to get it lined up. Look at there, she's in line. This wire on these uh, H2O Express hooks I find are stout enough to land a bull red but they're thin enough to really get a good hook set with a fly rod when you buy your thread you know you just buy some black or something simple if you're going to get one one color you know all about the budget black looks good on everything you can also get white and color with some of your walmart nail polish too so you just wrap it around and then wrap it back over itself and you can just wrap it right down the shank of the hook usually i kind of stop around the point of the hook and i cut this little tag end off it's none of it's super critical, man. We're making our first fly here. Another Walmart slash hobby store slash dollar store find, Marabou Boas. They sell these things in like five foot long boas. Uh, I have Teresa grab them for me and then I cut them up and uh, I put like one or two feet in a Ziploc and then I give the rest of it away to my fly time buddies. I'm gonna restrict myself to just Walmart slash dollar store stuff here, so. What I'm gonna do is just take a little pinch, chop it off, then I'm gonna lay it toward the rear of the hook, and then I'm gonna wrap it in. This stuff, usually I start with a loose wrap and then I crank it down as I move toward the front. Usually if you crank out down bucktail or something, it flares out, but this stuff, it's just gonna, it's just gonna look like it looks no matter how much you crank it down, so. I don't know, we're making this up, dude. I'm just gonna go right on top of it with some white. Forgot to show y'all this, what I have underneath my vise is a 50 cent plate from Walmart. That catches all the stuff that when I'm cutting it, it just falls into this plate. You can see it like when I do this trimming and then I can just dump it in the trash can so it doesn't go all over my desktop. Now, if you want to make this super salt water strong, you take your Sally Hansen and as you're going along, you can just do a little right there and let that sink in. If you have a vise that rotates like mine, see, I can flip it over right here and I can put some more marabou going that way if you have a cheap ten dollar vice it's not going to flip like that so you'd have to actually take the hook out and do this you know a little forward of the last one and tie it in i've got all kind of feathers and stuff in here but we ain't doing that today this will catch a fish i promise you you put it in his face it'll catch a fish i'm just going to build this up and make like a tarpon fly this is going to be a streamer
camera wets down, it's gonna slick back and it's gonna pulsate like that in the water right here. I'm making this fly up on the spot, dude. I mean, I'm not, this is not a pattern. Oh, look, googly eyes from Walmart, craft section. I'm gonna put that googly eye right there, right there. Now I can throw this at trout and redfish in, um, in deeper water where I don't have to worry about it. This is going to float hook down, so I want to throw this in deeper water. I could throw this at juvenile tarpon, snook. Uh-oh, marker, Walmart, some racing stripes, man. We just done gave him some racing stripes, some pinfish stripes. Budget streamer, nothing wrong with that at all, people. That will catch fish. Fly on a budget. We'll catch y'all later.